Hello, I'm Dr. X, a doctor working here today. May I confirm your name and age, please? Hello, doctor. My name is Soma Sarison and I am 73 years. Okay, uh, may I know how may I address you? Please call me Thomas. Okay, uh, uh, Thomas, uh, Mr. Thomas, uh, today we are going to discuss about your health issues. Is that all right? Okay, doctor. During our conversation, I might take down some notes, uh, which will be strictly confidential. Confidential. Is it okay? Okay, doctor. No problem. Well, uh, can you please tell, Mr. Thomas, can you please tell me in your own words, what have brought you here today? Uh, actually, doctor, uh, this is not a new thing. Uh, this happened a few weeks ago also. That I uh, some uh, in the if uh, in the morning, I some time for about uh, fifteen minutes. I first noticed that uh, I have some funny sensation on my right hand, and uh, after at that time I also uh, noticed that I cannot use my hand properly. I don't get uh, much power on my right hand, and uh, I, I even uh, couldn't uh, pick up a pen. Uh, I thought that uh, it was due to my bad positioning, uh, like you know, maybe like I, I was sitting on the chair for that, and it will go away. But uh, it didn't go away. It lasted for about 15 minutes. Then um, I noticed that it is somewhat uh, becoming age. And after a few uh, minutes, it went away. Now I don't have this problem anymore. But I am worried that uh, if I have anything serious with it, because uh, this is the second time I have this condition. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh, I will try my level best to find out what's troubling you. Uh, well, uh, may I know, Mr. Thomas, that you told that uh, a few weeks ago you have had these uh, symptoms again. Can you please tell me that uh, at that time, did the problems occur in the same site in the right hand again? Yes, doctor. That, uh, that was on the right hand also, and also this type of sensation and uh, this type of weakness, all over same at that time. But uh, the first episode uh, okay. uh, lasted around, I think, uh, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. I think a little bit shorter than this episode a little bit shorter okay okay and okay and uh well uh, you told that it lasted for about 15 minutes okay uh, can you please tell me that did it come along suddenly or yes, gradually doctor. yes doctor all on a sudden i was uh, reading my newspaper in the morning and uh, mm -hmm. suddenly i uh, noticed or uh, i i felt that there are some funny, funny sensation on my right hand i, I cannot explain huh. what is uh, how uh, i felt there was something funny and after that i noticed that i cannot uh, use my hands properly i cannot i don't get much power on my right hand okay okay i get it and uh, uh can you please tell me that which part of the ha hand was affected by, uh, first was it the whole hand you think or just part of it whole hand doctor whole right whole hand yes okay, okay. and uh, did it spread to anywhere else can you uh, remember or just the whole hand, just the hand just hand Okay, and uh, okay, and uh, can you please tell me that uh, uh, did you do you have any uh, headache? Did you have any headache at that time? No. Okay, uh, can you please tell me that what were you doing at that time? Uh, I was reading newspaper, doctor. I was sitting on a seat yeah. and, and I was reading the newspaper. Okay, okay. And uh, well, uh, can you please tell me what were you doing uh, uh, in the previous episode when the previous ep episode occurred? At the time, I was uh, doing some work at my garden. Some work, okay. And uh, that's all right. And uh, can you please, uh, uh, can you tell me, uh, Mr. Thomas, that uh, uh, do you have any uh, problem in vision? No. In, this, in that time, do you have? Okay. No. Any difficulty in speech? I any difficulty that I had some problem with speech that I couldn't produce mass word at that time. Okay, uh, you couldn't produce much word. Um, may I know that, uh, could you understand what others were telling at the time? Uh, yes, doctor. My wife was uh, uh, cooking at that time. So uh, I just felt that and I tried to uh, call her and uh, wanted to uh, okay. start that what is happening. But you couldn't. But I, I, I just couldn't. I just couldn't produce much word that I can understand, but I couldn't tell her that what. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. That yeah, persisted yeah, for yeah. a few uh, minutes, so I didn't uh, pay attention to it. 
Okay, and uh, did it go away on its own? Yes, doctor. Okay, for how long does that did that persist? Both both times did that occur? Both type time when you felt problem with your hand? Uh, is this problem for the person? Time? Like I cannot uh, tell you exactly about the person because I uh, didn't uh, yeah. notice it. Uh, that's all right. This, that's all this, right. this time that's I, I noticed it. Okay, that's all right. And uh, may I know that do you have any problem with your uh, swallowing? No. Okay, well, uh, can you please tell me that did you have any raised temperature recently? No. Okay, any any uh, chest infection recently? No. Okay, uh, can you please tell me that do you have any neck pain? No. Okay, that's all right. Uh, <laughs> you don't have any, okay. And um, uh, can you please, okay, well, now I'm going to ask you some questions actually. Uh, can you please tell me that do you have any uh, uh, soreness of your mouth? No. Any uh, rashes anywhere in your body? No. Any uh, any joint pain? No. Okay. Any significant weight loss? No, I haven't noticed. Okay. Any any lumps and bumps anywhere in your body? No. Any weather preferences? No. Okay. Any chest pain? No. Okay. Any racing and pacing of your heart? Yes, doctor. Is another issue that uh, for last uh, for last a couple of months I noticed that sometimes I feel some racing and pacing of my heart that persists for a few minutes then it's go away on its own so I didn't pay attention to it I just remembered as you asked this time. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Can you work, uh, remember that whether uh, that racing and pacing is regular or irregular? Uh, somewhat irregular, doctor. That uh, I think that it is coming, going, and uh, we 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 don't get the other thing without and random. Okay. okay. Yeah. Can you remember that whether the, these episodes uh, come along suddenly or gradually? Suddenly, all on a sudden. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, for how long does this persist? These episodes? Uh I didn't count it exactly, but for a couple of minutes, maybe five minutes, okay. maybe ten minutes. Okay. okay. Well, how frequent are those episodes? Can you please, please remember? Uh, maybe five to six times a month for last uh, three to four months. Okay, okay. Well, uh, well, uh, at at the time when it when this problem started, actually, uh, did you uh, did you uh, had any raised temperature or any infection anywhere in your body? No. Okay, and uh, well, uh, were, there, were there any abnormal events in your heart or something like that at that time? I have high blood pressure. Nothing else. Okay. 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 Well. Uh, okay. That's all right. And uh, do you uh, well? And um, and okay. That's all right. And uh, can you please uh, tell me that? Do you have any shortness of breath? No. Okay. Any swelling in your legs? No. Uh, do you have to use extra pillows at night? No. Okay. And uh, do, okay. And. Uh, uh, do you have any chest tightness or noisy chest? No. Oh, any cough? No. Okay. Uh, uh, may I know that uh, what about your water work? Is it all right? Yes, doctor. Okay. Uh, and your bowel movement? I haven't noticed any problem. Okay, that's all right. Uh, well, uh, you told me that you had uh, high blood pressure. May I know that do you have any other um, health issues? No. Okay. Uh, may I know that uh, uh, your uh, you told that you had high blood pressure. Uh, may I know that uh, or, uh, when was where you diagnosed uh, as having high blood pressure? Uh, about fifteen years ago. Okay. Uh, uh, may I? Uh, okay. And uh, may I know that uh, which uh, you are on which medication and for how long? Uh, I am taking remipril and uh, chlorothiazide. First, I was uh, prescribed remipril. And about five years ago, the chlorothiazide was added. Oh, okay. And uh, may I, can you please remember the dose? It, it's not, uh, please don't get bothered if you can tell. No, doctor, I cannot remember the dose. It was okay, okay, that's all right. And uh, uh, may I know that uh, are you able to uh, maintain your drug schedule regularly? Yes, doctor. I usually try to take those drugs regularly. Sometimes I missed a dose, but not for more than a dose. Okay. 
that's all right. Uh, has there been any recent change in your doses? No, I haven't visited my doctor for about a few years, about uh, maybe about three years. About three years, okay, okay. And uh, may I know that, uh, okay, that's all right. Uh, may I know that, uh, uh, have you been, uh, do you have any high blood sugar or anything else or any high cholesterol levels? Do you know of any? No. Okay, did you ever had any heart attack? No. I'm sorry to ask. Okay. And uh, do, do are you allergic to any medication? No. Any over-the-counter medication use? Sometimes take some vitamins and minerals to keep me healthy. Nothing else. Okay, okay. okay that's all right. Uh, any herbal medication intake? No. I'm sorry to ask this a personal question, but do you, uh, it might be unlikely, but do you take any recreational medication? No. Okay, uh, I, I would like to ask you some other personal questions. Do you smoke? Yes, doctor. Uh, how many sticks for how long? Uh, about five sticks per day. Uh, previously, I smoked about one pack a day. But I have cut it down okay. to five sticks per day only. For how long? About, uh, 10 years. Okay, actually smoking is very harmful and I would like you to smoke, stop smoking. If you want, I can refer you to smoking cessation clinic. Is that all right? Okay, doctor. Uh, well, may I know, do you drink alcohol? No. Okay. Um, uh, may I know that, do, do you drink a, a, a cafe, caffeine? Do you take caffeine in excessive amounts, four to five cups or not? You mean coffee? Coffee, yes. No. Okay. Uh, uh Tea consumption, how about tea, your tea consumption? Is it do you consume tea? Uh, about two cups a day. Okay, that's all right. And uh, uh, well, uh, may I know that what do you do for a living? I'm a retired person previously. Okay, I'm, okay, I work at Navy. Okay, uh, may I know that do you have any uh, uh, previous history in your uh, any family history of uh, heart attack or any long term is illness? My father had heart attack when he was 68. Okay. Uh, any uh, history of sudden death in your family no. or any death in our age? No. Okay. That's all right. Okay. And uh, may I know that are you well supported economically? Yes, doctor. Okay. Uh, well, uh, do you drive? May I know? No. Okay. And uh, uh, did you have any extra history of travel? Uh, any history of travel to recently? To other countries no. okay and uh, may i know whom do you live with are you are you living alone no i am living with my wife okay uh well i it's a, it's a very very sensitive question to ask but uh may i i have to ask you that uh, uh, have you been uh, in any um, casual relationships no okay okay that's all right uh well may i know uh, mr thomas that uh what what are your concerns uh, why I am having this doctor? Is this something serious? I heard that uh, some uh, thing called uh, seizure have this type of presentation. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I can get it. Uh, well, uh, may I ask you another question? That did you ever lose consciousness during this type of episodes? No. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Thomas, uh, at first, at this moment, I have to examine you properly, then I can give you a, a better explanation of uh, what has uh, co caused your uh, troubles. But uh, as long as I have taken history from you, um, it seems unlikely that uh, you are suffering from uh, seizures. Okay. Uh, rather, it might be a condition named uh, uh, transient ischemic attacks. Okay. Don't bother about the term. It can occur when uh, some uh, blood vessels in your brain gets narrowed. Okay. Uh, this can occur. Actually, there might be several causes behind it. One is that you have uh, you have been uh, diagnosed patient of high blood pressure, and although you are taking regular medication, you haven't been under uh, constant supervision of your uh, doctor. So uh, there might be some uh, troubles in your uh, blood pressure now. And uh, also, uh, you told that there had been some irregular racing and pacing of your heart, which is atrial fibrillation. Okay, uh, we this is called atrial fibrillation. This irregular pacing. Okay, uh, at times this irregular pacing can also problem. Uh, create some problem of uh, narrowing or clot okay in your uh, brain so these things can be uh, the causes uh, behind it uh, and also uh, your smoking habit can also add to your uh, troubles 
However, we are not totally sure about it at this moment. We will involve our consultant. We will involve the nerve doctor. He might run some uh, blood tests and also do some scan tests of your um, um, brain and also of your heart, okay, and some electrical tracing also. Uh, after doing all these things, we can map out a plan for you, which will be better uh, for you. Uh, are you getting me? Okay, doctor. Uh, Mr. Thomas, do you have any other concerns or any other questions? Can it lead to any serious condition? Or can I die? Okay, at this, moment, oh, well, at this moment, actually, it's a, a bit difficult to tell. We will actually involve the consultant and try to uh, do the complete your investigations, actually, the tests as soon as possible. Okay, and uh, after doing the tests, we can be more uh, uh, sure about it, whether it's very harmful or not. But uh, yes, I, I, I'm, I have to be truthful that these... Uh, so, um, troubles can cause some greater problems uh, later on. It, it's, uh, it's 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 true. It's true. Okay. So you, it's better that you have you modify a bit of your lifestyle also, and also you reduce your smoking. Okay, and uh, make uh, some good control of your high blood pressure. All these are needed. Okay. Are you getting me? Are you with me, Mr. Thomas? Okay, doctor. Any any other concerns? No. Okay. So uh, thank you, Mr. Thomas. Thank you. What is your diagnosis? Well, I think uh, the patient is uh, suffering from transient ischemic attack, and uh, the cause may be uh, actual fibrillation uh, due to uh, uh, hypertensive cardiomyopathy. Might, might since he's, he has not been under regular checkup, uh, this actual fibrillation might have been the cause of his symptoms. Of this transient ischemic attack, they cannot actual fibrillation be uh, idiopathic. Actual fibrillation, yes, it can be lone actual fibrillation, it can be idiopathic. How will you manage him? Uh, okay, uh, uh, first of all, uh, I will have to since uh, he, he has. Been, uh, there has been a few weeks time lapse, not in the same week, a few weeks time lapse between these uh, uh, symptoms. So at first I will uh, make a uh, call so that he has a specialist review within a week. And uh, at the same time, I will give him some uh, blood thinning agents like uh, aspirin and clopidogrel. And also I would, um, uh, I, I would like to have some duplex study so that carotid, duplex study of his carotid uh, so that uh, whether he is uh, eligible for uh, endarterectomy or not, that can be uh, ruled out by the specialist doctor. And of course, I will have to involve the, um, the cardiologist and a neurologist in this case. And also, I have to, um, again, uh, look into his uh, high blood pressure, uh, hypertension, uh, the, what medications are he getting, and uh, whether uh, the dose is appropriate or not. And also look into uh, his uh, uh, blood so cholesterol level and blood sugar level, uh, whether any preventive uh, simvastatin or other statins can be given or should be given. And I think it should be given regarding his age and uh, risk risk consider considered. What investigation you need? Okay, uh, first of all, I have to run some routine blood tests like CBC, ESR, CRP, uh, then uh, serum urea, electrolytes, and creatinine and uh, serum lipid profiles, uh, blood glucose level, HbA1c, and then I have to go for some scanning test, uh, like uh, echo of heart, and also CT scan of a brain. And then also, if, if uh, the consultant uh, persuades, then we might go for diffuse, uh, diffusion weight MRI of the brain also. And uh, then uh, we also have to do some ECG tracing, okay, because of, uh, of his irregular heartbeat. And uh, also we have to uh, go for the carotid duplex study. Uh, uh, I think, and um, these are, I think, the primary concerns. And also, we I have to check the INR level, whether uh, for when any warfarin can be given. Or not. Okay. Okay. The history taking, uh, I think your history taking was fine. Just one thing that uh, uh patient was affected. This part was affected, any other part affected. What about the other hand? What about the leg? Mm. Mm. Onset sudden, 
or gradual any uh, have anything abnormal before the onset like any mm -hmm. uh, synthesis in the mm -hmm. vision any palpitation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or any headache before the onset and mm -hmm. during the onset did you noticed did you notice any uh, shakiness any pain mm -hmm. any uh, before starting any any warning shots i should have asked that no any yeah. warning shots present or not and mm. during any pain mm. and, uh, weakness mm. how severe was the weakness mm -hmm. any, mm. any changes in the color mm. Mm. then uh, any other mm. sensory abnormalities mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. and after that and after how long oh, how long how, how was he was he confused or not no and, and and during that also any palpitation any other shakiness any parts of his body any loss mm -hmm. of consciousness mm -hmm. after that actually what to ask loss of consciousness i asked it later on okay. after that uh, was there any after effect any drowsiness yeah yeah or any weakness any sensory sense was yeah, yeah. both sensory sense and uh, motor sense went simultaneously or uh, one went after mm -hmm. another. Mm -hmm. Did he notice anything that uh, brings that episode? Or did he notice mm -hmm. that uh, age this episode and also severity? And after that, we did again, that was fine. Fine. Uh, Word sense, I cannot remember if you have asked. Yes, I, 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 yes. I, I. Okay. Oh. And also in the history taking, in the, uh, you went for the uh, personal history first, then you obtained for family history. Yeah, yeah, I, I just uh, missed that. I, I could remember, I could reckon that I had made a mistake. Yes, at that time. And for hypertension, uh, does she, does he uh, go to his? Eye doctor, kidney doctor, heart doctor. Is yeah, yeah. Any complication for mm. that? Mm. Okay. And uh, otherwise, this was fine. And uh, in the management, when talking to the uh, examiner, always use the medical terms, not blood cleaning agent. You can say exactly that. I'm going for anti. Yeah, yeah. First, I'll go for the mm -hmm. management plan when the PE is asking about management plan. Uh, go mm -hmm. as a, uh, as, uh, it's, it is written in the book, like uh, it needs a multidisciplinary approach. Mm -hmm. Involvement of cardiologist mm -hmm. for his uh, management of blood pressure and also management of his atrial uh, fibrillation. Mm -hmm. And uh, for atrial fibrillation, mm -hmm. I also may need for anticoagulation. Then. Review, mm -hmm. neurology is a review on the neurology rest of outpatient and stroke clinic mm -hmm. for uh, better regulation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. He needs a uh, smoking cessation clinic support. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, what, uh, what I told about uh, that duplex can, was that all right? Cardiac and endotherm is visible or not? Yeah, there are uh, uh, in, uh, there are a lot of investigations needed for this patient. Uh, ECG, echocardiogram, twenty four hour uh, ECG monitoring, mm -hmm. or even event recorder mm -hmm. monitoring, mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. uh, carotid study mm -hmm. in uh, other studies like blood cholesterol, other other studies like blood cholesterol, etc. Many lot of for this. Okay, it is fine. Uh, so, what was the case actually due to actual fibrillation? Yes, transient ischemic attack. Most uh, underlying causes are due to atrial fibrillation. The atrial fibrillation can be uh, due to lone atrial fibrillation, as is as high, uh, uncontrolled uh, blood pressure that can uh, cause also, and also the uh, Okay. Uncontrolled blood pressure and atrial fibrillation, no? Yes, uncontrolled, uh, uncontrolled BP and no atrial fibrillation. That is another cause. 
Okay. Okay. So I think uh, that's all right. Any any, any, any uh, nausea vomiting? I cannot remember if you have asked it or not. No, I didn't ask. There's some electrolyte imbalance. Sometimes electrolyte imbalance, and also with this patient, some uh, warning or red flag sign. I cannot remember if you have asked for that. Any uh, morning headache, any weight mm. loss, any changes. In weight loss, yeah. Changes, changes in vision, yeah. Uh, any uh, focal weakness or weakness any side of his body. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Fine. Okay. Okay.